Hey drummers, hope you're well. Just a quick one today. Shout out to superstar channel members Nick and David. Now Nick is working on this song. This is Silly Love Songs by Wings. I'll do a full playthrough of this song shortly. It's a really awesome, cool drum part by Joe English. Um, this is a brilliant song in it. It's like, what is it? It's like love song meets disco. It's just, it's just such an amazing sort of fun tune. I'll do a playthrough of it shortly. It's a really interesting part, as I say. And uh, shout out to David because he was working on this as well. Now this is actually something that Joe English is playing on the live versions of this song slightly more than on the studio version, I think. But this is just a simple idea of playing a tom-tom, in particular like a low tom, a floor tom, maybe a mid-tom, uh, along with your snare drum to fatten up that backbeat. I feel like it was, for some reason, in the 70s, it was just something drummers did a lot. As it's maybe slightly fallen out of favour, but every time a drummer does it, I just I love the sound so much. You've got to have a certain sound to your kit. It's that classic sort of 70s, sort of boom, thuddy sort of tom sound. But just that idea of it doesn't, that far from uh, being like every single backbeat. I mean, you could do that, but like in that case, I was just doing it on the four, so not the two, but the four. In the live version of this tune, Joe English seems to be particularly doing it when he's over on the ride. He's also doing that slightly 70s thing of like playing a bit busier on, on the ride than a lot of drummers would these days. I think a lot of drummers these days would just play straight eights, but it's that kind of... sort of skippy dick, 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 kind of slightly ha harking back maybe to the th sort of things that Ringo played it just gives it that little sort of jauntiness and sort of happiness to the groove doesn't it that uh, perhaps you don't get so much with straight eights so just putting that out there now use it sparingly I think that's that's the thing in, 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 uh, for me when it works so well is when it's used with impact so you wouldn't necessarily like I say do it every single backbeat as in every single snare drum hit although you could but I think it's that we're like save it I think save it for the big moment there's when that sort of sax thing comes in like it just it needs some kind of lift and as I often talk about on this channel for me playing drums with great music is so much about just supporting the song and sort of escorting it through the and supporting it through the different levels of like intensity and clearly this is a high in the chew there's moments where it's up and down there's the bridge bit where you're playing which is very much a sort of lower intensity isn't it lower sort of emotional level and then there's the choruses which are much happier and the verses are pretty happy here as well and then there's this bit the sort of instrumental bits which are, for me feel like the sort of highest bit of all in terms of the intensity so i think i'll drop it in there As you can see, I'm playing it by bringing my hi-hat hand across to the tom-tom. You could do it other ways. You could have a tom-tom set up to the left, couldn't you, which you hit uh, with your other stick, like in bring your right stick to the snare. If it, if it was over here, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And if you had a tom-tom on that side. Just ideas, but yeah, just to put it out there, I think it's a lovely little thing to do. Often overlooked, and I'm a big fan of 1970s drumming and especially those things those amazing sort of studio drummers played with that amazing sort of fat 70s sound uh it's just one to use one to be inspired by like i say shout out to nick who's learning this tune and david who is playing around with the uh, adding the floor tom to a backbeat today thanks for watching as always cheers